Hi everybody, this is Coach Kevin McCarthy again to bring you another water safety lesson. And today we're gonna talk about swimming with swim fins. Now, if you've never tried swim fins before, it's a whole new experience. It's a little bit like um, maybe ice skating for the first time with ice skates on your feet. Or maybe it's a lot like the very first time that you've tried on any other kind of athletic shoe, um, soccer shoes or football shoes. They're going to give you a little bit of different traction on the surface. And what swim fins do is they actually give you, if you will, traction, but a lot more than that, traction in the water. And they allow you more push, more lift, more propulsion. Um, a lot of advantages. So we just want to take a couple minutes and talk about that and, um, and the benefits. Um, again, if you've worn swim fins before, you probably know the benefits of them. And I, as a, as a water safety advocate, um, would always encourage everybody to always wear swim fins, especially if they're going into any type of open water, whether it's um, a river or a pond or a lake or a stream, or the, especially the ocean. Um, or especially larger lakes that could have currents, that could have wind waves, but especially the open ocean that has larger waves. Um, swim fins, think about swim fins this way. Um, they're a little bit like the propeller on the back of a boat. They can give you extra propulsion, just as a fish gets propulsion off of, off of their fins. Um, but it's also a lot like the tail wing of a bird which, you know, when they go to take off, they open up that back tail and it actually lifts up the whole back end of their body and gives them um, quite a bit better dynamic through their fluid surface, air. Or in this case, if you're using swim fins, it gives you much more dynamic through the fluid surface of water. So think a little bit of, like of swim fins doing that for you. And, um, and let's proceed here. Um, if you've never worn swim fins before, I would suggest you always try them and get used to them and get very comfortable and actually get strong with them in a pool and with lifeguard supervision. Swim fins, maybe like ice skates, use different muscles in your feet. So the first time you try them, they might feel very soft and comfortable to start with, but they're going to use different muscles. And maybe after 15, 20 minutes, you might experience some cramping either in your calves um, or other parts of your leg or in the arch of your foot because they are um, enabling you to have more resistance against the water and have more push, not only on the bottom of your foot, but against the top of your foot. And that's a new movement. As you get used to your swim fins, uh, your legs are gonna get stronger, your feet are gonna get stronger, and you're gonna strengthen those muscles that you normally aren't using when you're walking. So it's gonna be a whole new experience for you. And I think what you'll find is they will not only give you extra propulsion, but extra confidence in the water, more ease and relaxation in the water, and a lot more fun and enjoyment. Let me show you just real quick a couple concepts in swim fins. This is called the positive drive fin. And as you notice, it's a little different. It actually has an oval or elliptical blade. And you'll notice that most of the blade here is slightly off the, the small toe side of the foot. It's not right off the top of the foot, but it's slightly off to the side. And that's because in the kicking motion, most of the propulsion happens slightly off the lateral or outside edge of your foot as opposed to right off your big toe. So that's where most of the blade is here. But being round like this, no matter what position your foot is in, in that push, it gives you equal um, propulsion and equal comfort in all those different positions. This type of fin, which is called the positive drive fin, is available in a foot pocket shape that fits your entire foot. And this is primarily for smooth or flat water conditions, um, whether you're in the pool or open water. And then there is a style like this that has a heel strap. As you can see, it's an, it's an open foot pocket here. Your foot goes in there and then this, um, fits over the back of your heel and is adjustable. So you can actually get the foot pocket to fit your foot and then adjust the strap. Uh, whether you have a long narrow foot or a short wide foot, you can get this fin to fit very, very well in the different sizes and adjusting the heel strap. So it's, it's quite 
remarkable that way. And as you can see, this is also an oval blade. And I recommend the oval blades, especially for those of you that are brand new to swimming and those of you who are brand new to wearing swim fins. They're very comfortable. As you can see, the fins are, are quite flexible, very soft foot pockets, as you can see right there. Um, whether in the strap version or the full foot version, you can see it's a very soft, very soft, flexible rubber. Um, they give you a remarkable amount of propulsion though. A fin of that size with a shorter elliptical blade will give you about a 25% overall advantage in the water, but they give your feet and your legs about a 40% advantage. So they do work your muscles a little differently. Give them a try. But anytime you're in open water, you're almost always going to want that 25% advantage in the water. Again, it's going to give you more safety in the water, most importantly, a lot more comfortable uh, feel in the water. Um, in fact, the swim fins have so much propulsion, you can have a relaxing, comfortable kick underneath you and just sort of relax your hands. And it really allows your hands to be free um, or much more relaxed. So you can do activities, play games in the water, have a lot of fun um, and interaction in the water and getting most of the propulsion out of your feet when you want it that way. So a big advantage in the pool or open water. Thanks for listening. Well, this is gonna be a three-part series. So we're gonna talk about swim fins and share a couple stories in the next two episodes. So thanks for watching. Have a great time.